Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will discuss one of the major romantic poets who is also considered the founder of romantic movement in england and that is william wordsworth so let's start this video the notes of this video are given in the description box william wordsworth william wordsworth was born in 1770 and died in 1850 He was the greatest poet of the Romantic period, along with S. T. Coleridge and P. B. Shelley. The credit of originating the Romantic movement in England also goes to him, because William Wordsworth was inspired by the French Revolution, which was the slogan of his was liberty, liberty, equality, and fraternity. And he wanted that this revolution would come to England. And that's why he, along with S. T. Coleridge, published his lyrical ballads in 1798, and this started the Romantic movement in England. We already made detailed videos on the romantic age and romantic poets. If you want to watch those videos, click the link in the description box. Biography of William Wordsworth. Wordsworth ki birth hoti hai 7th April 1770 mein Cockermouth, the Lake District of England. He received his education from St John's College, Cambridge. In 1791, he went to France where he met with Annette Wellen. and he also fell in love with her and married her after a year anate valen gave birth to a child anne carolyn in 1792 kyunki ye french revolution ka time period tha isliye france mein political turmoil chal raha tha moreover due to some financial problems wordsworth cannot stay anymore in france and he has to come back to england 1795 mein wordsworth ki st college se mulaqat hoti hai with whom he wrote the lyrical ballads in 1798 iske baad wordsworth college aur apni sister dorothy ke sath germany jati hai in 1798 he published his lyrical ballads in 1802 he again married to a lady mary hutchinson aur mary hutchinson ko wo apne bachpan se hi jante the aur wordsworth ke death ke baad mary ne wordsworth ki semi autobiography the prelude ko publish karaya tha in 1843 wordsworth became the poet laureate and after his death alfred lord tennyson became the poet laureate wordsworth died on 23rd april 1850 wordsworth is also considered the founder of the romantic movement because he along with his friend st college published his lyrical ballads in 1798 and this lyrical ballad was published anonymously jisme 19 poems wordsworth ke the jabki 4 poems wo college ke the 1800 में इसका सेकेंड एडिशन आया जिसमें प्रिफेस्ट और लीगल बैलेट्स को भी इंक्लूड कराया गया 1802 में लीगल बैलेट्स का थर्ड एडिशन आया वाइल एन 1805 जीरो द फोर्थ एडिशन वॉज पब्लिश्ड मेंबर ऑफ लैक पॉइंट्स वर्स वर्थ वॉज ऑल्सो द मेंबर ऑफ द लैक पॉइंट्स अलॉन्ग विद एस टी कॉलेज एंड रॉबर्ट सौदे दीज पॉइंट्स आर नॉन एज द लैक पॉइंट्स बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दिम दे आर लिविंग एंड द लैक डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ इंग्लैंड they have worked in collaboration and shared the same revolutionary spirit major works of wordsworth his major works include the scripto sketches which was published in 1793 an evening walk lyrical ballads which was published in 1798 poems and two volumes in 1807 the exertion in 1814 the prelude which is a semi autobiography and was published after the death of william wordsworth and was published by his wife mary hutchinson and the play the borderers it is the only play written by wordsworth and it is a verse tragedy literary characteristics of william wordsworth the first literary characteristic is love for nature like other romantic poets william wordsworth was a great devotee of nature he was a harbinger of nature and a great worshiper of nature he believed that nature held spiritual and moral significance and he also found solace in the natural world with its serene landscapes gentle beauty and timeless charm about nature he said nature is a healer and nature is a teacher his love for nature is best shown in the poems the daffodils and the intimation of immortality the second characteristic is mysticism wordsworth was a mystic poet and he viewed the spirit of god pervading the entire universe both animate and inanimate mysticism ka matlab hai khuda ka aks dekhna so william wordsworth was of the opinion that the reflection of god is everywhere in the natural world and he saw the presence of the divine life in every bird insect flower and other entities he 
He also established a relationship between man and nature by some mysterious bond. In his poem Tintin Abbey, he says, I have felt a presence that disturbs me with joy, of elevated thoughts, a sense of sublime, of something far more deeply interfused. So these lines shows that he was a mystic poet and he saw the divine spirit everywhere. The third characteristic is imagination. Wordsworth was a poet of imagination. In order to make the common things look strange and beautiful, he used his imagination. And imagination is best shown in his poem or an intimation of immortality, where he says, The earth and every common sight to me did seem appeared and celestial light. The glory and freshness of a dream. He also used a great deal of imagination in his poem The Daffodils, where he says, I wander as lonely as a cloud. So we can say that Wordsworth was a master of imagination and he used imagination to make common things look strange and beautiful. The fourth characteristic is free verse. Like other romantic poets, William Wordsworth didn't care of the traditional meters as we seen in the classical poets. Wordsworth used free words for the flow of words and emotions, and the best example of free words are shown in the poems The Daffodils and Intimations Ode. The last characteristic is subjectivity. Like other romantic poets, subjectivity was a key feature of William Wordsworth poems. Wordsworth wrote personal poems in which he shared his experiences, feelings, and emotions. And the best example of his subjectivity is shown in the poem The Daffodils and Odd and Intimation of Immortality. The Daffodils per Wordsworth ne ek long poem li ki hai aur apne un experiences ko share kiya hai jab wo daffodils ko dekhta hai aur mehsoos karta hai. So this was all about today's lecture. I hope this video is helpful for you. And thank you for watching this video.